Welcome! In this video I will show you how to customize your MX Linux to look somewhat like Mac with little footprint. I have already created a GitHub repository for you just to clone if you wish uh, and the links to download in if you wish to do that. You have two options. Okay, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, this is a brand new install of MX Linux. As you can see, the old directories are empty. Uh, let's just move these files to their respective location, put them in documents. Now let's just visit uh, my repo in GitHub. So go to github.com slash righteousculture and click on the repo MX Linux XFCE OS X. I have two options here. The first option you can just clone it and then move the directories to their respective locations or click the link to download them. and you can see if you want to support me you can visit patreon or just subscribe to my channel and, and watch my videos okay then just open whatever you want to clone the director i just choose pictures uh, it should be downloads but it doesn't really matter because we're just gonna clone it and then move directories to their respective locations. So let's clean the repo and then cd into directory. And it just move wallpapers to pictures directory. Then we just move themes to the home directory but rename them to dot themes also do the same for icons okay now we can just remove the, the repo we don't need it anymore to clean up our system you can see these two wallpapers all right let's just now install the plugins we have only two plugins So we're gonna just go to MX Linux package installer. And we just paste it here. So you can see it's actually in the popular. This plank is very popular. And just click OK and then hit the installation finish. And then it's successful. Now let's do the same for uh, uLauncher. It's not in the stable repository, it's in the testing. So I'm going to just show you that. So you need to go to actually to MX test repo. That's where you can have it. It's a beautiful plugin, I like it. So you just check and then install. It's pretty straightforward. It's really easy. MX Linux is, makes things really easy for you to do these things. That's why I really like it. Okay, let's just close Firefox. Just toggle off this uh, Carnegie. Uh, I, if you like it, you can keep it, but I'm not a big fan. So just go to Appearance and enable our install theme. So let's look for Mojave Dark. And there it is. And then let's do the same thing for icons. Let's locate Mojave Dark. Okay. And do the same thing for uh, Windows Manager. Uh, you can move them to the right if you wish. I did it in this video. Uh, please note that the title you can't remove it. I don't know if it's a bug or I tried many times. It will not do it. You just move the maximize and close uh, to the right to resemble Mac. Okay, let's, let's go customize panel. Uh, basically, I'm going to just move it to horizontal. And 
then I will just substitute Apple icon. So just search for uh, Apple and this will show up if you list all the icons. The more icon you have, the longer this will take to load, okay, just bear in mind. Okay, just close out of this. I mean, you can customize it a little bit. Move the whisker menu to the left and then log out to the right. just launch plank and then we can do plank uh, we can open the preferences using terminal sometimes it's hard to right click on it to get it so I think this is best way to get it as you can see we enable the zoom icon you can actually uh, see the effect and the problem with removing the panel to horizontal actually the system doesn't know about it so we just move this terminal down the reason being because it's like a grid system you have to let them know before you do that in a way you can move them manually to let the grid adjust so we will do that uh, shortly okay let's just change the wallpaper to the one we downloaded I'm gonna choose this image. It's nice and green and beautiful look. Then I can just show the icons like the home and the file system just to look kind of like Mac sometimes. And a little bit, not too much. As you can see, it's still butted against the top menu it's too close for comfort then just try to move them to the right like what Mac has yeah it's still buttered so you see like the the system doesn't know about it to fix that there is a way I'll show you shortly you can just unlock the the panel and then manually try to move it so to let the grid now that's we're here now see that now we have this padding that we, we need then just lock it again so you can just remove the windows icon because we're gonna be using the docker like um, we're gonna be using plank just add some icon as you like uh, this is totally up to you what you put there I don't think I should be spending any time here I'm gonna just fast forward real quick what I was doing this is your basically what you, you look for the icon and you add it and you move it it's simple as that you can add separator as you wish yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward, so... Let's now add the plank to to startup, because if you log out and log back in, it will not uh, be loaded. Just type plank, and then make sure the command is correct, just plank, but the name and that doesn't matter. So, and here it is, plank, and then it's gonna be on login, it's gonna be load on startups. Okay, let's now uh, add the theme to Plank. You just basically go to the themes and then you just first customize this uh, this uh, menu. I would like to change it to to tab. You, know, you, cl you can click them and then just remove this menu bar. So yeah, this is what I like about it. You can actually turn them to button this path. 
Okay, so now you just open a new windows and then copy the plank themes to their respective location. So just go to that local. I'll show you all files if you wish. Show hidden files so you can click it. Just copy the dark theme first and let's give it a name that you will remember. It doesn't have to be the same as the theme, but I just name it OS X Dark. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for OS X Light. Just because I'm gonna be using just one theme, so it doesn't really matter what you name them, just something that you remember. Just move this icon there and keep it so we can close it so we no longer need to can use the dark. Can you just now open a new launcher? Make sure to have it on startup as well, because we did. Then we can uh, choose the theme. I rather just use a theme that is already shipped with it. Uh, it's called Adwita. Adwita. I don't know how to pronounce it. You can put it in the comments below if you know how. Uh, basically, just press Control Space, hold Control Space to to open the U launcher. It's quick and fast. Pretty nice. You just add the terminal, and then just use this command to open reference again, so we can change the theme for it. Uh, we'll just stick with the dark. Feel free to use the light. I download them both. It's gonna both work really good because I have different uh, theme, a different wallpaper that work with both. So we we'll just add the desktop icon and then the trash just to look like a, a little bit like Mac, somewhat. Okay, just close the terminal. Then you just uh, go to desktop. And then we can just uh, change the you can put them to change like every four seconds or ten seconds or ten minutes if you want and this uh, what what do you will look like that's pretty neat I really like it so awesome there are wallpaper will work with this one work perfectly with the dark theme and so, and, and so this one will work with the light theme uh, will work with both so if you if you prefer to use the light theme choose whatever wallpaper you like for me I like this uh, with the snow and the polar bears I like this theme it looks pretty nice I mean it's just a matter of preferences personal preferences uh, what about the mouse First thing you need to do is just basically go to your settings and then locate mouse and touchpad should be here. If you rather just type it out in the search, just type mouse, start typing it and this will show up. Then just go to theme and then choose map mod and then close. I think that's it as well. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the bell icon for new videos. Have a nice day. Bye.